Welcome to this week's edition of ONW Now. Today, we will look behind the scenes of a pep rally, the new male members of the dance team, and the sports highlights on Game Day Northwest. Let's get started. This year is the first time for ONW to have two males on the Raven dance team. Isabel Lobby has more about the changing dynamic on the team. For the first time in ONW history, two male dancers, Dakota Hoare and Brandon Luthi, have joined the three-time national champion Raven dance team. Well, male dancers are becoming more um, popular and the two we have this year, they've been dancing since they were young and um, decided that it was probably an activity that they wanted to be a part of in the school. So I was more than happy to accept them. Drill team is made up of boys and girls with different dancing backgrounds providing a unique dynamic. I wanted to join the drill team because it was something new and different and I thought I'd give it a try. With something so new to O&W, the feedback has been mixed for the boys. Um, ob well obviously, like, bullying has been a thing for me. When people don't understand something, they tend to make fun of it. The addition of the boys to the team has allowed Coach Shannon to incorporate more complex choreography. We can do a lot of new lifts and things that Olathe Northwest has never done and things that other teams aren't able to do just because they don't have the manpower for it. Overall, the boys have been a beneficial addition to the team. The guys are really hard workers. They have great senses of humor and great personalities that mesh really well with the girls, so it's been wonderful. For ONW Now, this has been Isabel Lobby. Now back to the desk. Now let's take it to game day for updates on our sports team. Hey Ravens, welcome back to Game Day Northwest. My name is Brennan Wolford alongside Luis Ruiz. This week we have coverage of football's Friday night win. Cross country, volleyball, and gymnastics. Let's get going. team rebounded last Friday with a satisfying win against Shawnee Mission West. Connor Dirtis has more. Last Friday night, the Olathe Northwest Ravens took on the Shawnee Mission West Vikings at Seabook. The Ravens got the run game going early, led by Eli Pruce, Adam Harder, and Darius Henderson. The Ravens were able to capitalize early, taking the lead. Quarterback Jack Hatsfield pushed the offense forward by completing passes to Evan Pardue and Jesse Rose. The defense was unstoppable on Friday. They recovered a fumble, and Z. Pinkerton was able to come away with an interception. The Ravens shut out the Vikings 22-0 for the first win of the season. For Game Day Northwest, this is Connor Gertis. Now back to the dead. Thanks, Connor. Trying to make it out to the Leavenworth this Friday for our very first away game of the season. ONW's cross-country team ran out of Lathe North this Saturday. Let's go to Jacksonville with the story. The ONW cross-country team traveled to the Olathe North Invitational on Saturday. The girls team placed third. Junior Cameron Gildner took first overall. Allison Campbell also medaled. The boys placed sixth in the meet. Hayden Cover placed tenth. The cross-country team travels to Missouri this Saturday at 9 a.m. This is Jackson Mealman, now back to the day. Thanks, Jackson. Last week, our number two ranked volleyball team competed against the number one ranked Olathe East Hawks. Let's take it to Anna Massey for a recap of the match. On Thursday, the Lady Ravens took on crosstown rivals, the Olathe East Hawks. The crowd was fired up for the match between the number one and number two ranked teams. In the first game, the Lady Ravens lost with a score of 23 to 25. They struggled the second game, ending with a score of 16 to 25. 
Tess Reed, Audrey Fisher, Megan Cooper, and Maddie Schneider all had a great game as well as the rest of the team. Come support the volleyball team this season. This has been Anna Massey for Game Day Northwest. Now back to the desk. Thanks, Anna. The gymnastics team is off to a good start this year, led by one senior leader. Doug Pearson has the details. The ONW gymnastics team has one senior gymnast, Chris Winters. Winters has taken on a leadership role this season. Like I have been a returning member of the team, so I can help all that freshman and all the new people out. The team works together to create their routines. We have set skills that we that are requirements, so we have to choreograph them into our routines, and some of our teammates help us choreograph them. Last Tuesday, the team traveled to Olathe South. The team finished second, and Carissa Winters finished fifth in the all-around. Junior Jesse Payne finished first. Come support the Ravens gymnastics team at the ONW Invitation on Thursday at Olathe East. This has been Doug Pearson for Game Day Northwest. Now back to the desk. Thanks, Doug. That's all we have for you this week. Come out and support your Ravens. Have a great week. Turn up the speakers. Everyone gets to enjoy the pep assemblies, but not many knows what goes into planning one. Tiasha goes behind the scenes and finds out what it takes to organize a pep assembly. We've all been to a pep assembly, but do you really know what goes on behind the scenes? There is a great deal of planning by Miss West and the Brave and Flight Corps. A lot of organization. We've got, we've got so many different creative, insightful ideas and ways that we can pump up, build those pep assemblies to be something exciting, something fun, showing our school spirit, coming together as that ONW family. It just takes pulling those ideas, information, that brainstorming from our, from our team. I want you guys to come up and talk about what you discussed in your senior meeting yesterday. RFC puts in countless hours in planning before the pep assembly. We kind of start thinking of ideas, maybe three or four weeks in advance. It just takes a lot of work from RFC and the cheerleaders and Stuco, basically whoever is in charge of the assembly for that time. E-communication students work with RFC to run the videos during the assembly. The RFC people kind of like put together the pep assembly and like send us like an outline and then um, we have like headsets so we're talking to the people with the cameras, the people on the other side with the sound system. Now you will know what goes on behind the scenes of next week's homecoming pep rally. This has been Tiaja Holt, now back to the desk. Homecoming is next week. We want pictures of how you asked or how you were asked to homecoming. Tweet us your pictures to hashtag ONWHC. We will put your pictures on next week's edition of ONW Now. From Savannah Plumley, I'm Samantha McHugh. See you guys next week.